I know a few of you wanted to hear the book Ish again, starting with that I S H Ish by Peter Reynolds. Raymond loved to draw. Anytime, anything, anywhere. One day, Raymond was drawing a vase of flowers. His brother Leon leaned over his shoulder. Leon burst out laughing. What a, uh, what is that? He asked, laughing at the picture, at the drawing. Raymond could not even answer. He could, he just crumbled up the drawing and threw it across the room. Leon's laughter haunted Raymond. He kept trying to make his drawings look right, but they never did. After many months, after many months and many crumpling sheets of paper, Raymond put his pencil down. I'm done, he said. No, Raymond, don't give up. You can do it. Marisol, his sister, was watching him. What do you want? What do you want? He snapped. Well, I was watching you. I was watching you. And I was watching you draw, she said. Raymond sneered. I am not drawing. Go away. Marisol ran away, but not before she picked up that piece of paper on the ground. Hey, come back here with that. Raymond raced after Marisol up the hall and into her room. Look at all of his drawings on her wall. What a sweet little sister. He was almost about to yell, but fell silent when he saw his sister's walls. He stared at the crumpled up gallery of his own pictures. This is one of my favorites, Marisol was, was said, pointing. This was supposed to be a vase of flowers, Raymond said, but it doesn't look like one. Well, it looks vase-ish, she exclaimed. Vase-ish? Vase-ish. Yes, Raymond looked closer. Then, um, then he studied all the drawings on Marisol's walls and began to see them in a whole new way. They do look ish, he said. They look ish. Raymond felt light. He felt light and energized, thinking ishly now allowed him his ideas to flow freely. He began to draw what he felt, loose lines quickly springing out without worrying about anything, without worrying about what it looked like, especially to others. Raymond once again drew. 
He drew the world around him, making an ish drawing felt wonderful. He uh, filled his journals with tree-ish drawings and house-ish drawings and boat-ish drawings and afternoon-ish drawings and fish-ish drawings and sun-ish drawings. Raymond realized he could draw ish drawings to, sorry, ish feeling drawings too. So this is peace ish. This one is excited ish. And this one is silly ish. His ish art inspired ish writing in his journal. He wasn't sure if he was writing poems, but he knew they were poem-ish. And so there's a little poem there. Pa pond ponder, dream yonder, pond pond, yond yond, gleam wanderer. By Raymond. One spring morning, Raymond had a wonderful feeling. It was a feeling that even ish words, um, sorry, that even ish words and ish drawings could not capture. He decided not to capture it. Instead, he simply savored it. He was just out letting his mind wander and just sitting out, kind of like doing nothing. And Raymond lived ishishly ever after. So instead of happily ever after, Raymond lives ishishly ever after. So that just helps you remember to be you, to draw and write ishishly. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be for someone else. And don't worry about what someone else says about what you do and what you draw and what you create. All right? All right. Love you guys. That's the Ish book.